Islands and reefs in the South China Sea have become a paradise for birds because of their unique climate. And local rangers are working to safeguard the native bird habitats. Ling Wood tells us more. Across China's vast sea area, there are 78 recorded species of seabirds. Dozens of them, including terns, can be found in the city of Sansha. Chen Haizhen is a local ranger. One of the most important aspects of his job is protecting the native tern population. My name is Chen Haizhen. We plum trees, shrubs, and ground cover on the island to provide a good habitat for birds. The weather on the island changes rapidly. When conditions worsen, Mr. Chen is accustomed to braving the rain to reinforce the trees to protect the eggs and hatchlings. After three weeks of incubation, the terns hatch. Under the care of their parents, they learn to walk, swim, and fly to catch the food at sea. I imagine the island should be covered with vegetation where sea bears, various other bears, and sea turtle coexist harmoniously. In addition to Mr. Chen, reef guards volunteer to help protect the terns. Once a week, they come here to collect rubbish from the sea to prevent the birds from eating it or becoming tangled in fishing nets. We usually keep our distance when we patrol the island and observe the sea bears. We pay special attention to minimizing contact, allowing them to settle comfortably here. As the local island population becomes more environmentally aware, the practice of collecting eggs and killing young birds has disappeared. These baby terns usually return to their birthplace to lay eggs and reproduce after three years. And every night as darkness falls, the terns fly back to the island.